Adiza's husband, Omar, he's a decent man and also a caring man too. But he doesn't want Adiza to study. Your husband has hired a car to take everybody back home, including you, Kijik Kwashikayenki. No, Baba. He wants his wife with him. He doesn't care about her studies. She has been trying to convince him for years that she wants to go to school and further her education, but he didn't see any importance of that. So she has to run to Lagos for herself to school. Who is Hadiza, please? It's her first time coming to Lagos, and she just has to face lots of challenges. Hadiza's relationship with Kappa Yasmin is a great relationship because they are from the same community and they understand each other. Hadiza's family come to Lagos. Auntie Yasmin, Hadiza chief. Oh, hi. I need you to help me with something. It is important the families of people come together to understand each other. Me ma ni monna. Ah kwanta da hankalin ku, kwanta da hankalin ka malaka. To malam, yanzu abin da zamu shine mu tashi, mu ba su wuri, mata da miji su tattauna a tsakane su, su samu mafita. Tasu kawai kaka da mu ta ji mu fita. Yarinya to yanzu nan ina mafita. They talked about it and they understand each other at the end. Ina tinani, don zona anongono. Har in gama makaranta na. Idan na gama makaranta na zan koma kan. Daga nan sai mu daura daga inda muka tsaye. We just had a little conversation. Umar agrees to leave Hadiza here in Lagos and just go back to the north. At the end, he doesn't know what to do but just to let her go. Mm. Hadiza still intends to be with Umar, but after graduating from school. Female education is very important. The fact is, if you train a woman, she educates the children. So the generation is educated by women. We cannot take that away from them. They deserve more than they're getting right now. <laughs>